uh, I provided you about uh, five models and uh, I will evaluate you uh, using the assignments. There are three assignments. So I try to humble the doing ready for the slide because my laptop is not ready to use, so I rather use the slide from the website. And then I will switch to my laptop once now I got connected. Let me go, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Can you hear me? My voice is very really terrible today, sorry about this, but I try to keep away from you. I try to put the mask on, and that will be worse and worse. I got infection yesterday, so hopefully that I will. That would spread to you. But I got some from you because it started. It started on Friday afternoon, after the journal call. <laughs> so I probably got you know, from you as well, definitely. I didn't have you know, the sign of symptoms at all in the morning. And as soon as I got into the room having lunch, I felt I said to my dad, I got a temp. My body looked like I got a temp. And once we finished the journal call, uh, my water was chewing. And I just thought that it's very high temperature, very high temperature, probably 39. I didn't know the issue, but it's more than 38, 38.5 for my nursing experience. Long time ago. So I touched my head and my neck, and I left the office as soon as possible before I couldn't go. So I slept for the whole night. And early in the morning, it was really good after the long sleep. And Totally one paracetamol, and I had to take antibiotics as well. It's getting better and better during the weekend. But it was yesterday. I didn't know. And my voice, something like this, like young, because entire, entire, because not like, not the voice, like young. <laughs> so sorry about this. Not good start at all. But I still have got enough. So I will take the whole three, now three hours now for this morning. And um, so that, um, sorry, that you didn't look at <laughs> Because I got the 10 emails to finish this morning, within half an hour to recall and to submit, now respond to the review that is I will be more than a little bit
that gives me a call. This is my name. So yeah, uh, the corresponding outcome for this uh, course is that we will now we want you not to be able to apply that this course has its methods appropriately. And then appropriately according to the study design and also the type of data in medical research. And uh, we want you to uh, construct a study score analysis plan uh, for medical research. Why we want that you to do like that? Because now uh, whenever that we are going to do research. And then we need to uh, plan for the proposal. We need to develop the proposal. And in the proposal, there must be a part of the studies for analysis plan in the proposal. And then now you plan how to analyze, how to deal with the data, how to analyze uh, with the data, the ones that you now collect the data and now prepare the data for analysis. So, for the proposal, every proposal must not contain this part, that is for analysis plan. So in advanced analysis, in advanced research, particularly for the complex study, for the complex study, either coding study, uh, for example, like diabetes, or chronic diseases, or hypertension, or hypervascular diseases. And, that, and also for randomized control trial, any type of randomized control trial, and you need to plan for that is for analysis in your proposals. So at the end of this course, I try to cover the most commonly not applied in statistical uh, in medical research that the science is true. So hopefully that you will get the idea and now uh, you should be able to plan uh, for the analysis in the And at the end that uh, you should be able to integrate the result after your analysis of the data. And that integrate the result, and you can write the reports now according to that result. And you should be able to infer that the message from statistical analysis can to your colleagues as well. Is it better if I don't Very noisy. Because as scientists, that we need to start together. And uh, there are patients that you can use that you can touch specifically to the patients. And uh, then we move to the lock cleaning application now for the session number four. So uh, this is the model number one and number two. And then uh, I will have uh, probably a half day meeting that I will finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So after we finish um, the Lock linear model and cross-application. I will uh, meet now wrap up now with you about the questions and now questions and answers according to another two models. And after that, we will move to now one of now quite big now models that is survival analysis. Uh, con that now will include uh, starting from the basic to advanced uh, survival analysis or time to even data analysis. So you can see uh, for the third module that there are four sessions for the third module. Start from the basic uh, to very advanced analysis and also including sample size now for time to even data analysis, which is different now from the sample size calculation that you study in other course IAC 6 to 5. Okay. It's different because you know, the type of data are different. Previously that you learned about how to calculate sample size for continuous data and for the columns after. But 
here we're talking about time to eat, time to eat, and two dimensions. Not just only really time, but also the event. So the time to event, data analysis, and so that I will cover how to estimate some things as well. And then the last model, uh, the last model is about long genome data analysis, in which I will cover uh, both now the autonomous outcome and uh, continuous outcome. So that will be two sessions. So you can see that after you uh, finish now the first now the, now the three session, the three session you have to do one assignment, one big assignment. Uh, this assignment is now a very, very big assignment. Actually, now you don't have to wait until you finish now the, now the third session. The third session will be next Tuesday. So after you finish today, or even next Tuesday, Thursday that you can study about now the assignment one. So it's now posted in our website, now the question and also the data. So, so you now you can start now uh, leaving your study, you should now uh, try to do assignment. And that is the assignment also progress assignment. Progress assignment here that will help you to practice now uh, data analysis more and more and understand more and more, or even you know, maybe you have questions more and more and more, which is okay. Now just come to talk with me if you have no more questions uh, during this session, or also uh, you can walk to also see me at my office uh, in another building. Okay? So the questions are really welcome. I, I even though that I'm busy, but if you come to talk about uh, the question according to your assignments, I will be more than happy. Okay? And then the second assignments, uh, the second assignments belong to survival analysis. Okay. Belong to survival analysis. There are two big questions now uh, from uh, for the second assignments, and that now uh, you should now uh, start to understand read the assignments now uh, as soon as you finish uh, the uh, the end of uh, the part one, uh, the session one of uh, survival analysis. Okay, and. Uh, then the last assignment, the last assignment belongs to long genome data analysis. And there are two questions too. Uh, in terms of uh, the autonomous outcome and uh, continuous outcome for long genome data analysis. Okay. So in total, uh, three assignments uh, accounted for 90%, 30% uh, each. And each assignment is due about two weeks after finish that session. For example, um, this now will be due after finish now this session. Okay. So two about two weeks now after we finish now that model. So the due date, read the due date carefully. Uh, the due date now is post recently update and post now in our website. Now along the side with the schedule, the okay, no schedule. And make sure that now you submit it on time. Before time is perfect. Okay. Before time is perfect. But don't send to me the time. I will throw away. No. Send me something that I can read. Nicely, beautifully, peacefully read, not to dense everything in the document. Okay. So that um, uh, read the duty carefully. And the last assignment, that is the assignment number three, uh, is long genome you know, data analysis. And I also give uh, the class participation for 10%. So during the class, now don't be quiet. Now try to now participate. Don't let me talk by myself. So two-way communications. And I will make uh, the class uh, much more uh, interesting and uh, so that I will give you about 10 percent for my uh, class participation. Okay, any questions before we move forward? So the class participation starts from you. <laughs> <laughs> So the resource that you just now hook into our website and 
which are now we provided modules, the appendix, a lot of now reading in the appendix. So I try to collect now the articles, now very useful articles, now into the appendix, uh, from the appendix 1 to 30. So please now read the appendix now if you have got time. And uh, those the articles are about the methods of data analysis and also about the data that we have used now for now the whole course. So that now the productivity is from other sections in our research. So we post uh, into this appendix. Uh, we also have data that we're going to use now for the whole course and also for the assignment. Uh, we have now the slide. So we, we don't print now the slide anymore. So if you want to print, you print by yourself. Use your own paper, not just a whole section of the paper, okay? Uh, because we want to uh, try to save the paper, try to save the uh, don't use the paper. So you are more familiar with gadgets, right? You are young generation, and you can read now very small gadgets, and you can read very well. So don't read now the slide and more to uh, read or use electronic, or, um, electronic copy. Uh, and also provide the references and these the textbooks. Some of them are available at our library if you want to read. Uh, <clears throat> this is, I think, this is the best one for logistical education. This one that pro, that available in our library as well. Uh, and also, this one is also available in our library. And this one is also very easy to read available in our library as well. And the rest. Uh, are the articles, I think. Okay, question before now we move into detail of logistic question. No question? Okay, good. That's when I now inform you very clearly. Right? So don't forget the due date of the assignment. Now you want to not be allowed not to submit after the due date because we will lock uh, on the website. Now, everyone will have to submit via the website only. Okay, via the website only. And we will now close the website now on the due date. So if now you can't finish now before time or on time, you have to talk with the course coordinator, which is me. Okay. And don't email me personally. Don't email the assignment not to me personally. Uh, if you can talk with me with other things, with questions, uh, or unclear about the information about not what we're talking about in the classes. But don't submit the assignment via email. Because oh, many don't need personal email. Uh, it's very distributed memory. So if everyone just send the document file to me and that now that will be exit. Now the code are very easy. Okay. So that, that will be burden for me to delete and delete and delete and delete everything. So please now submit the assignment via the website only. And I will give you I will mark the assignment. So myself will mark assignment and I just will help me to mark assignment as well because uh, this year there are 25 of you, so um, I, I want to be able to give very uh, good comments for all 25 of you. So I can be able to help me to mark this Okay, I mainly will mark for PhD student, and I can be able to mark for master student. And when, for the first assignment, and then for the second assignment, we will swap. Okay, so that I will know everything, I will know every student. Even though that I mark some of you, but I will know every student how you work. And then I will, now if your scores is very really low, and that now we will be notified, and you will have to come to talk with me uh, in order to improve now, the score for the second or the third assignment. And also, now in the future, when you will now work on your research, your thesis. Okay. For data science, for data science, now program, master and PhD program. So what we are talking today that is conventional 
or traditional statistical modeling in which you have to know. You can't just go not to machine learning directly. Because nowadays, most research in data science still reach between a statistical, a conventional statistical modeling and the machine learning. And 90% or to 95 percent of the articles that I try to read now every day that they use both and try to compare the performance now between um, uh, conventional or traditional or some articles that now mention about not traditional or conventional statistical modeling, which can be logistication or can be post-application or can be time to image data analysis or can be uh, long genome data analysis. Okay? But mostly in uh, data science, in, because uh, most of them that pay attention about machine learning, but they did not concern about uh, uh, panel data or long genome data. So they consider only one, uh, one mission, not one time of no, college of data. But actually, for no, traditional or conventional statistical analysis modeling, that we handle, we handle for all. Not just the, the, the economist outcome, but also time to even, and also both type of the data, the economist time to even, or long genome data, with the repeated measure, okay, with repeated measure. So if you know about this, and then you will be very good not to compare with machine learning, okay, so that most studies that I mentioned, they compare the performance now, between logistication because mostly they use logistication. Logistication compared with now, the basic to advance of machine learning. So that's why you have to now, study these courses. Uh, and your thesis in the future, if you're going to apply machine learning, you will have to apply at least one of not traditional or conventional statistical uh, modeling as well in order to compare uh, which one is better. Okay. For medical epidemiology and also for clinical epidemiology uh, students, you will wonder what's the machine learning, right? That is another uh, very uh, popular uh, right now machine learning. If you want to know more about machine learning, you can attend the class of data science. So you, you can take the benefit of being students here. We have uh, basic machine learning, advanced machine learning. Okay. So that uh, if you are interested in, now uh, you uh, look at another timetable of data science, and then you know who are the course coordinator, and then you talk with the course coordinator. Now can I sit in? Okay. Can I sit in? So now everyone is now uh, welcome. And also data science, then some interesting courses for you know, clinical immunology and medical, uh, medical immunology as well that you should learn. And you are very welcome if you are interested. Your data science for healthcare. Now we emphasize that this data science is for healthcare, not for business. Okay? So for healthcare, so that the dimension of healthcare that you need to know about you know, research methodology of you know, healthcare research. And you need to know about the country, not about healthcare as well. So if you're interested in a few courses or some courses of clinical or medical epidemiology, you are very welcome as well. Okay? So you have to take the benefit of being students. Being students are very good. I like student life actually, but it wouldn't not take me too long now to be a student. Uh, actually, it's very good uh, lifetime for being a student. Uh, you can ask, you can uh, ask something silly. <laughs> you can ask something silly, but not too silly. <laughs> but if you're going to ask something silly, but you have to prepare yourself now for now more now more silly questions from uh, from the lecture. <laughs> so being students, and you take benefit from this, and you can buy the software, like data software, now with the student student license. Now only 250, I think, US dollar, only 250 US for state, a for state license. Okay. In which it, it will be about 10,000 uh, 10, US 